Yep, we got a new Frostbite Kaiju. But before I say anything about Frost Behemoth, everyone gather around the campfire. I wanna tell y'all how Varit broke my ankles. So, on the same day I made my Destroyer video, DICE said that we should be expecting some upcoming teasers. And I'm like, okay, cool. And by this point, I was making the thumbnail for my next video. But then the teasers came out when I was making it. So I'm like, well shit, I'm gonna have to can this and save it for later. So I made a new thumbnail talking about the new Frostbite Kaiju because now instead of it being a singular Kaiju you buy, you get two of them. But then, the same day I get the recording of Frostbite Godzilla and the thumbnail, the update drops. Like, what? Hold on. For this video, I'm gonna be using a recolor called Discord light mode. I know it says ice, but when I spawn, you're gonna see exactly what I'm talking about. Oh god, here it comes. Here it comes. Oh, yep, there it is. Oh god, I feel so bad if any of my viewers have their fucking brightness really high. Stupid ass jokes aside, the first thing I should mention is that there is a new location that you could actually spawn into, Florida. It became a location you could spawn in besides being just one tiny island. I mean, it's still kind of a tiny island, but Vera did say that he's probably going to expand more on this because he had time constraints, so hopefully this becomes like a bigger city. Maybe even the size of Tokyo? Question mark? They also added the ability to give people game passes, which I'm pretty sure we all know where this is going. And this also means you're going to see a lot of YouTubers using the uncopyrighted, overused music, telling you to like and subscribe with the green screen and saying, hit the like button to enter my fucking giveaway. You better laugh at that because you know it's fucking true. All the jokes aside, let's talk about the Frost Behemoth. Now, I want to point out in this recording, I am level 25, but currently I'm level 43. I'm still making my way to 50. I'm not Falconeer where I can max my Kaiju in five minutes. And you're about to witness some bullshit. I don't know what it is, but when a new update comes out, I don't know what goes on in people's brains, but their first instinct when a new update comes out is to team on the new Kaiju. <laughs> hey, there's some bullshit. <laughs> And as this really depressing scene is happening right now before your eyes, I should talk about some of his weaknesses before I talk about his strengths. First off, he's very slow, but that's kind of the price to pay when you hit really hard, which is one of his benefits. Another thing that's kind of unfortunate about this new Kaiju is you don't have the healing that the original Behemoth had. And that's really about it. He actually has pretty decent potential. Something that is new about this kaiju is that this is the first ever kaiju to really stand out among the rest. What I mean by that is that he has the ability to slow kaijus down. They gave this kaiju status conditions and Frost Behemoth is designed to mostly be a stationary kaiju, which means he's beneficial when he's in one place, which is evident by his fourth attack, which is basically a way of saying, hey, I own this area, bitch. It creates basically an ice ring that slows you down and damages you if you're in it. And it's also helpful because when you're in this, you also have somewhat of a ranged attack. It's basically the equivalent of ultimate stomp attack where it can hit you from pretty far away. So staying inside the ring and also using your third attack is really helpful because it's like, I can still hit you, but I'm also in my safe space. I'm gonna be honest though, I think the ice ring is kind of shit because it doesn't really deal a lot of damage and the slowdown effect doesn't really matter when they're up close to you anyway, so... But there's gonna be a buff, so whatever. And this is what I love about the third attack. Behemoth can finally hit Flying Kaiju. What the fuck is going on? It has basically the height of, again, an Ultima Stomp. So it can also hit Kaiju from far away, but also hit them from pretty high places as well. He also has a new ability called Resistance and... I just realized, me saying all these good things about Frost Behemoth is gonna make Frostbite Godzilla look like shit, isn't it? Wouldn't wanna be this guy, am I right, fellas? Huh? Anyone? I beat the fuck out of my dick, so- Back to the resistance meter, basically, the more you fill it up, the more you're gonna take less damage from ranged attacks. So basically, it's, again, the idea of being in one place. And it's a good thing because one of the problems with Behemoth is that any Kaiju could just harass you from far away because you only had melee attack. But now, he has a resistance and also has an ability to somewhat have a ranged attack. Is Frostbite Behemoth worth the price? Yeah, I mean, it's only 300 Robo- Oh, shit. But to be fair, it makes sense why they raised the price. I mean, you're getting two Kaiju in one. And hey, they lowered the price of Volcanic Bios Pass, which further shows us her sad existence. But back to what I was saying. Yeah, you should probably buy this, even though the price went up, because you're getting two Kaijus in one. And even Frostbite Godzilla is actually pretty good. And apparently, Frostbite Godzilla is basically the main course of... 
well, the whole Frostbite pass, which I hope the Frostbite Godzilla remodel comes soon because, I mean, comparing Frostbite Godzilla to Frostbite Behemoth is like comparing the Mona Lisa to a fucking drawing made by a five-year-old. But yeah, I definitely do think it's worth the price. It's pretty strong, and in my opinion, it's really cool. Haha, <laughs> I said it's very cool. Laugh it up. And once you're at level 50 and max the damage like you should, unless you're a psychopath, it's really fun to use. But yeah, that's all for this video. I'll see you guys later.